We're going to check out Louisiana Run for the wetlands in Montague, Louisiana. I'm going to go find my wife, Michelle. She's selling some paintings there. So, yeah, stay tuned. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, 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 I don't think so. Come on. Uh, come on. Yeah. Buddy. Let's take your that seat off. Yeah, thing off. Okay, June. Come I'm with me. I'm not strong enough to open a seat. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we can't come in that way. No. Oh. Uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you you want to No. You got. Look in that. The... Oh. Oh, come see. Dude, it's some baby alligators. Look at that guy, huh? Whoa. You want to hold him? Hold oh, him, oh, sir. Yeah. You want? Dude, hold him. They can't buy you, look his mouth, see? Yeah. Let's start you with a little. Look, bro. See, see around right here. Come over here. Come see, dude. Yeah. You want to go see? Yeah. Look, dude, oh, hold him. Okay. You hold it like this and you. like that. You see? Yeah. Work your way up to it. Work your way up to it. <laughs> it's just wet. It's not Look, slimy, it's water. He's wet. He's been in the water. Grab him, brother. Hold him. Gotta be gentle. Yeah, right here. Hold it. The towel. Yeah, like that. You can hold him on top, but not good. Hold it underneath here. Put your hand right here. Right there. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Ow. There you go, oh, bro. Look at him with his head up. <laughs> You're holding an alligator, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, huh? They soft it.
And ready? Got him. <laughs> this one is a uh, squareback wharf crab. But we also do have some Tulaloos in here. So see this one right here? Has like one really big claw. So this one has two big claws. And this one has one really big claw and one really little claw. So you see this little bitty claw right there? Isn't that kind of strange? So he's got like one really big arm and one little bitty arm. It's like Nemo. Yeah. Isn't that neat? That's cool, huh? Yes. And we also have... Check out this one right here. See, this one's a mama crab. See all her little baby eggs? So she's going to be laying all these eggs pretty soon, hundreds of them. They're pretty small looking, huh? So this is the daddy, and this is the mama right there. <laughs> you want to hold one? You want to hold that? Here we go. This one got a little That's good right there. That's cool. Yeah, what did you hold? Have you ever held a crab before? That was your first time? Yeah, well, it was his first time. It'd be great. You want to hold this one again? No. Okay. Right. Here, watch. You ready? Watch this. What I'm this. gonna do is I'm gonna. Oh. Take a <laughs> and, and do it all. I'm just building, I'm giving this. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about LumCon? Yeah, LumCon is the uh, Louisiana University's Sorry, Marine down Consortium. Down uh, okay. That's right there. Uh, the idea, though, is to uh, connect and enrich the environment. We teach them about the marine environment. So anything that's uh, to do with the water, the weather, the animals, the plants, the soil, the sun, the weather, everything. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into keeping ape fish alive or keeping water yeah. chemistry very healthy. And so we study all the parameters to allow us to understand fully how the environment works, why it's falling apart, things that we can go to uh, mitigate the damage that we've already lost and just try to reverse some of the effects, uh, turning this back into an historically very biodiverse region. Awesome. So a lot of efforts going into restoring like wetlands and things like that go on at LumCon. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Craig McLean, I'm the executive director of LumCon. Yeah, and what are you famous for these days? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am the scientist who put an alligator two kilometers deep in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, what was your thought process behind that? Other than just being in Louisiana and seeing yeah. alligators around me. Uh, <laughs> we, so the reason, there's three reasons why we wanted to do it. One was what my lab group looks at how food and carbon from land makes into the oceans. And after major storm events, hurricanes, flooding, things like that, we know that alligators wash offshore. So we wanted to replicate that process to see how carbon makes into the deep oceans. The other thing is because the kind, uh, the weight of carbon on land is different than the weight of carbon in the oceans. Um, we can actually use that as a chemical tracer through the food web in the deep sea. So as things eat the alligator and things eat that, we can actually start to highlight the entire food web in the deep ocean. Um, and then the other reason is, is um, on dead sea mammals like whales, sea lions, yeah. Things along that line, we know that there's a community of invertebrates that live solely on there and anywhere else in the deep oceans. And so, no one's ever done one with an alligator, but at one time before the the rise of like whales and dolphins and things like that, the whole the oceans were filled with marine reptiles, massive you know marine dinosaurs basically. And so we think that it, we're thinking that maybe if we put out an alligator, or alternatively if we'd put out a crocodile, we might recover some of this ancient fauna that we did, haven't known about you know. Uh, at all, so. Yeah, cool. Uh, I mean, that was definitely an interesting video. And, uh, <laughs> There's nothing like seeing a bunch of giant roly polies <laughs> eat an alligator carcass. Yeah, that makes people take pause. Yeah, yeah. So we back from running for the wetlands, and I don't think it was the turnout they were expecting, but it was cool nonetheless. Met the scientists from Lumco. They the guys who dropped the alligator to the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. That was a viral video, and. They invited us over for some interviews and stuff, so we'll be doing that soon. Probably me and Dave. Yeah. These kids are whooped. They are out.
yeah, still a cool, cool day, cool morning. So thanks for watching. Later.